Hey Virgos, welcome to your February reading. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to hit the subscription bell. Let's see, you'll find all the information about what decks of cards I use in the description box along with my email on how for how to contact me. King of Keys, okay, so we've seen the Queen of Keys in this deck and she's in the castle and she's waiting. So this is letting me know that somebody's on their way to you, Virgo. Maybe still some distance away in the beginning of February, okay? Um, I was doing a Virgo reading the other day that prompted me to do um, the February readings right now. Um, that maybe you want them like here before Valentine's Day and things like that or sooner. Um, but they're still some distance away, but they're on their way is the main thing here, right? Um, if you're single and you haven't met nobody, um, somebody's coming towards you here. Um, it may seem like they're this perfect knight in shining armor here on a horse. Um, but just like everybody, um, remember they have flaws, okay? Don't um, be too harsh on them wanting everything to be perfect. Um, because everybody, where's the fun in perfect, right? But, um, so you may feel like you're you've met your soulmate and they're perfect and everything's great. And then maybe they have a little flaw and you're like, oh my God, not again. Um, don't react like that either. Um, just bide your time. Let things go slowly into, um, you know, the relationship. Okay, take your time and then let it build. And then we can love somebody even with their flaws, even maybe more so because of their flaws. Um, so don't overreact if somebody comes forward, looks perfect, and then you find out they've got flaws. Don't just cut them off and try to, you know, remain alone. Um, because this person is coming in and they do see, seem like they're in good energy for you. Okay, reflection. So if you're already in a committed relationship here, um, I feel like you may go through a bumpy time. You may not know what's going on with them. You may feel like even they're up to something or hiding something from you here. Um, but it is time for maybe sobering reflection at the, this moment maybe look inwards as well and know that you know we're not perfect ourselves so if you're trying to hold yourself to some sort of perfect example and you know want everything to be in order and things like that it's not going to happen nobody is perfect not even you probably the closest to it virgos <laughs> okay so we see uriel and the uh, sphinx here okay so it's like you're searching for this great knowledge here endlessly because I always want to know, is the great library of Alexandra under the Sphinx here? So you may be like looking at things like that as well and um, staying up at night. Maybe you can't sleep because your mind is just running away with you in Aquarius season in the first half of February. So your mind may be like alive with ideas at this time as well. Um, it might be that you find it difficult putting these ideas in order and getting them into your everyday life, in your waking life. So you may be having even crazy dreams here. Um, but I feel like, you know, you're having these wonderful ideas. You just may be um, finding it a little bit difficult to um, bring them to um, the light. So don't worry about it, okay? It's just the energy. I mean, we do... Um, we are going into Pisces season at the end of February, um, beginning of March. So I do, you know, want you to be aware of um, things quite dreamy and um, maybe things looking a certain way and then them not being a certain way. It's not something to panic about. It's just something to be aware of. It's like examine the facts, okay? Um, try keep yourself grounded. The seven of roses, yeah, it's all part of this beautiful journey that we're on. It's all part and parcel of the process. We're here to learn, right? So we're not going to be perfect. Nobody's going to be perfect. And we're not supposed to um, have this easy journey where we walk through life. I feel like you have this understanding that things can be complicated and messy and um Maybe you don't want things to be messy anymore, but, you know, there's some sort of organization in the mess as well, okay? So we see...
these people are working and unpacking their boat, let's say. Um, so people could be on their journey and it may be separate from your journey at this moment. And that's why maybe you're wondering why is this person taking a long time to come into my life, right? They're on a, their journey as well. That's with everything in life. Everybody has, even if it's friends, family, you know, everybody's on their own personal journey. But I feel like you're aware of your journey. Let's just say that you're aware of your journey right now. It could be that, you know, as we've moved into Aquarius season, it's sort of the tension lifts off you, but you're not completely free of tension. Just maybe that your understanding of um, the greater perspective of the world is allows you to know that the path that you're on, the journey that you're on, and it's a bit easier at this time, you know. Um, you will be seeking more intellectual conversations at this time. Look at this queen of forces. Um, all the earth signs are getting this right now. Um, and I think it's about, you know, just really remaining grounded. Um, we don't have control of all external forces and things like that. Um, but we have control on how we react to certain parts of our journey, certain um, things. So, you know, maybe look at why you're waiting or why this person is taking so long to come back to you or um, why it's taking so long for a potential partner to come into your life and things like that, okay? Um, maybe you're aware of that at this time and that's why things are feeling more easier for you. There's external forces at work trying to bring somebody into your life and at this time um, it seems like they could be in the sun and you're in the moon so this is where the reflection's going on, um, looking and probing deep into yourself and looking for this extra information about life and um, the meaning of the life and things like that. You may be finding yourself looking into mystic sort of things during February. And that's what I mean about maybe more deeper, meaningful conversations. You could be having conversations even about religion and why you like it or why you don't like it and things like that. Okay. So there you are, you know, the master here. Um, so I feel like it's perfecting your craft, okay? You want everything perfect. You want to be everything to be controlled and in order and um, have its place. And life's not like that, is it? Life can get messy on the journey. So I think like your mind is thinking to clear these things and it's Aquarius season. It's as heavy as Capricorn season, but maybe not feeling as heavy on us, okay? We feel a bit lighter at this time. So I just see you um, managing um, life a little bit easier or, you know, life can appear easier during February for you. And I feel like you can breathe a sigh of relief, okay? Um, I think it's called Saturn sort of moving faster away from Pluto. <clears throat> so I feel like it's kind of good for you. You sort of feel maybe you're getting some control back in this mess that is life. I've had to tell <clears throat> the other two earth signs as well, you know, um, really try to ground yourself during Aquarius season and then as we head into Pisces season because things may look great on the outside. Um... So you may feel like, well, I can't lose right now. This person's perfect. And then you find out they've got flaws and you're like, oh my God, no. It's it's life and everybody has these flaws and we end up loving people's flaws, right? More than we love them. Like, oh, I love them because they've got a crooked smile or something like that. So you end, if you give it time, you end up falling in love with their flaws, your flaws, whatever the case may be. So the free of forces, the bird's nest. So you may just be um, redecorating your home at this time, taking care of your family, maybe your main focus, right? Um, everyday life, maybe becoming routine, maybe even boring for you here. Um, but I feel like here, like home is where the heart is, right? So I feel like you're sort of protecting your nest, building your nest and... Um, 
rebuilding your tower even here, you know, your home and um, your life. And I feel like you're keeping it very close. Um, within this card. I feel like you're keeping yourself with very close company. So maybe keeping your circle small, keeping your friends small and things like that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> not that there's anything wrong with that. I personally do that myself. Um, so yeah, I feel like at this time, it's sort of best for you to keep things in perspective and in focus. Okay you may be craving this sort of routine, but it may also be coming boring for you. Archangel Raphael. So I do feel like, you know, there is a beautiful opportunity here that's going to present itself. Um, somebody's going to make an offer here. Okay, somebody's coming in to make an offer to you. I don't feel at the beginning of February and as we move down through February here in the cards, I feel like it'll be the second half of February, okay? And like I said, Pisces being very dreamy sign, we don't want to feel like, oh, they're an angel. <laughs> you know, they're perfect because that, that's just not um, life. You don't need to run away from somebody who isn't perfect. Um, you can ask them, what are you offering? Um, you can tell them what you're offering. And I, I did a video about a heart prenup. Um, and it's just basically was about laying your cards on the table and saying, this is what I want from a relationship. This is what I want from my life. This is where I'm trying to build it. Um, you know, if you go on a date with this person and it's like a first date, the first sort of meeting with them, you're going to feel like everything's falling into place for you and everything's great and things like that. Okay. You're going to have this feeling like you've known this person forever um, so I feel like you'll you'll end up feeling very good and positive about this person, but like I said, um, just remember they have flaws, and that's okay, okay, and if you're feeling that you're gonna go out on a first date with somebody and you're worried about your own flaws, they all know that too that people have flaws, and it's okay to have flaws. they're what make us unique and beautiful, and you know. I heard a song, it's, if everybody looks the same, we'd get tired of looking at each other. So don't worry about your flaws. And I know myself here, you guys will have seen on my video, I have a scar on my chest and um, things like that. And um, I went into a shopping center and this lady said to me, oh, I've got an ugly scar too. Um, I'm thinking about having mine removed. So I just said, okay. So she continued to speak to me and she said, um, are you having yours removed? I said, no, I don't have an ugly scar. And if somebody would um, not want to date me or not want to know me um, because I have a scar, then my scar's protecting me because that'll stop those kind of people approaching me in the first place. And that's not the sort of people I want in my life, okay? Um, so don't worry about any flaws. Two of roses here, winged messengers. So again, look, I see some sort of date scenario going on. Um, somebody maybe asking you out, somebody bringing you some messages here. Um, a definite love connection coming in in the second half of February for you here. So that's very positive, at least starting to speak to somebody or going on a first date and things like that or some peace and harmony coming here uh, via communication. Queen of Scrolls, yeah, again, with the scrolls and again with the information. Um, I feel like you may have a list of what you want a person to be like or they, you know, and this person may tick all the boxes immediately. Um, but then you find out, huh, this wasn't on my list. But it can turn into something beautiful here, okay? Um, it shows this person will help you to grow, help you to ascend, um, help you to think differently. I feel like you'll have exciting conversations with this person, right? I feel like you're going to be ready to take it to the next step. The queen is upright here, so I feel like you're very intrigued by this person. We do have two queens in the picture, so if it was a normal tarot deck, I could read it like um, you may have been waiting for somebody who was already in another relationship. You may be waiting for them to leave a relationship and come to you. And I see... Um, that will happen eventually, um, but not immediately in February. 
Okay, guys, I will be back soon. Good luck.